Hello everyone. In the last session, we studied about the kinetics of radical chain polymerization. Now, let us study about the ionic polymerization. You know that it is a type of chain polymerization. In the free radical chain growth polymerization, free radicals initiates the polymer chain, right? In the same way, here in ionic chain polymerization, ions acts as chain initiating species. You know that ions are nothing but charged species, right? Depending on the type of ion which involves in the initiating of chain, we have two types of ionic polymerization. They are one is cationic poly chain polymerization and the another one anionic chain polymerization. Here in cationic chain polymerization proton or positive ion acts as the initiating species. In anionic chain polymerization the negative ion acts as the initiating species. right? In this session, let us know about the mechanism of cationic chain polymerization. So, let us know in detail about the cationic polymerization. So, it is a type of ionic chain polymerization and here the initiation of chain is done by either proton or positive ion and the propagation is carried out by the formed carbonium ion. So, in whole what we can say this is a type of polymerization where the initiation is done by a proton and the propagation is carried out by a carbonium ion fine yes. Where do we get these protons or positive ions? Yes, it can be obtained from the strong Lewis acids. So, the strong Lewis acids such as BF3, AlCl3, SnCl4 and TiCl4. These are known as uh, catalysts. Catalysts and the healthy vidana. Fine. So, these strong Lewis acids in the presence of small amounts of water or methanol, these are known as co-catalysts, co-catalysts. These strong Lewis acids in the presence of water or methanol form hydrates and this acts as source for protons in cationic polymerization. See here, I have taken the example of BF3. So, this is known as catalyst and this one is the co-catalyst. It may be water or methanol, fine. So, Lewis acid means it is a, it is an electron deficient species and it is a it is an electron pair acceptor right so this bf3 accepts the pair of electron from this co-catalyst molecule and form a hydrate like this so this hydrate exists as ion pair fine this is simply represented as this so this hydrate acts as the source for protons fine then the examples of monomers that can undergo this cationic polymerization are isobutylene styrene methyl styrene and many vinyl ethers okay now let us uh, understand the mechanism. 
step by step in detail. The first step is initiation. So, here what happens? The proton or positive ion attacks the pi electron pair of the monomer and forms a carbonium ion. See here. So, this is the hydrate which is formed as I explained earlier. So, this is the monomer molecule which contains reactive double bond fine. So, here the pi electrons are susceptible for the attack right. So, this pi electron pair gets attacked by the proton or positive ion. So, the electron moment should be shown from the electron rich area to towards the electron deficient area right that is why it is shown like this. Then this proton gets bonded with the this carbon fine see here CH3 and this carbon gets positive charge see here. So, this is the species we will obtain and this is known as the carbonium ion. Why it is known as carbonium ion? Carbonium ion is a species in which the carbon carries the positive charge fine and this F 3 B O H minus this is known as counter ion. So, this counter ion is always found in association with this positive charge center fine yes then the second step is propagation. So, what happens in this propagation step? the successive addition of monomer molecules takes place right. Uh, the carbonium ion attacks the pi electron pair of the second monomer molecule and the positive charge is transferred to the farther end of the second monomer unit and thus a chain reaction sets in. See here. So, this is the species we obtained in the initiation step that is the carbonium ion. This carbonium ion attacks the pi electron pair of the second monomer molecule. So, this is the second monomer molecule and this pi electron attacks this carbon positive recharged carbon. So, leads to the formation of this species that means the second monomer molecule gets bonded up with this moiety fine yes then the positive charge gets shifted to the this carbon see here illi idr mele positive charge bandide alva and the counter ion follows uh, that positive ion and then it takes up another monomer molecule likewise it goes on taking up the monomer molecule until the all the monomer molecules gets exhausted. So, that is the chain reaction fine then the last step is termination you know that in this termination what happens the polymer chain growth gets stopped. Here the termination occurs when a collision between the growing carbonium ion and anion takes place. So, where does this anion comes from? It may be from the counter ion of another growing chain or from other deliberately added anion ok. So, when these two collide that is carbonium ion chain and anion 
these two collide the chain gets terminated there are two possible termination reactions can takes place one is by ion pair precipitation and the other one is by coupling so let us know how it takes place the first one the is ion pair precipitation here what happens donation of a proton to the counter ion resulting in the formation of a double bond at the end of the growing polymer molecule and thus results in the arrest of the chain growth see here so this is the growing polymer chain fine so uh, this growing polymer chain donates the proton to the counter ion and forms the double bond like this at the end of growing polymer molecule and results in dead polymer chain why it is called dead polymer chain because there is no active center to continue the polymerization alva so it can no longer takes up the monomer molecule that is why and the hydrate is regenerated right so it results in the arrest of chain growth actually this is the reverse process of initiation step fine this uh, process of donation of a proton and the reformation of the hydrate is called ion pair precipitation right yes. then the second one is coupling so here what happens the formation of covalent bond between the carbonium ion and the counter ion takes place okay so see here it is a growing polymer chain and uh, what happens so this positive charge forms bond with that is this carbon forms bond with the oh minus and results in a dead polymer chain and bf3 is regenerated fine yes in both the cases the initiator that is bf3 is regenerate uh, gets regenerated fine yes this is all about the mechanism of cationic chain polymerization in the next session let us know about the kinetics thank you